Hey guys, Nova here. First of all, welcome PlayStation 4 and 5 players to the world of NGS. I hope you're all enjoying the game so far. I just want to make a quick video to help you decide what your ideal class is. There is no OP meta since this game is meta free, meaning you can rock with whatever build you like. But let's get started. If you like to get close and personal, being a tank and have the ability to have enemies focus you instead of your teammates, Hunter is the one for you, where you have access to the big sword, a wired lance to give you some range and gap closures, and partisans, which are like spears. Hunters have the ability to deal bonus damage as long as you time your attacks with enemy attacks. Each weapon has its own unique passive skills in its skill tree allowing you to expand the weapon's functionality. Fighters have the ability to deal bonus damage while having a fast-paced combat style, using twin daggers, knuckles, and double sabers. They have the ability to quote-unquote push your limits and deal bigger damage against stunned enemies with high DPS. Rangers have the ability to fight from a distance. Using rifles and launchers, you can provide support by applying a mark that will help you and your party members deal bonus damage onto targets that are marked. And if you and your party members hit the target with a decent amount of hits, the mark will change color allowing you to deal even bigger damage. And Ranger's rifle has some mobility where the launcher doesn't. Gunners wield dual machine guns, specializing in close range combat but while airborne. I think they have a system where you'll do more damage up close and you'll do less if you're attacking from a far distance. They can also use assault rifles as well, just like Ranger. Force has access to use techniques and weapons such as rods and taluses, dealing elemental damage to enemies which cause them to be stunned from elements by their specified weakness, casting fire, ice, wind, darkness, lightning, and light, all that kind of stuff. They also specialize in high PP recovery and deploy a healing field to help heal your party members if they're in range of your healing. Tectors is more of a support class that uses wand and taluses. Their gimmick is that they can apply buffs to everyone, shift and deband, and also be able to heal and increase players' damage and defense. They are also able to use techniques as well. The wands is a special weapon where you can constantly bonk enemies dealing big damage, and you can attach techniques to your wand as well. Bravers have the ability to fight at both close range and long range, katanas for close range and bows for long range. Katana's main focus is the counter attacking system. Katana is great for that, plus it's better than it was before when the class initially released. And the bow is good for ranged DPS and it grants you high mobility when in combat as well. Bouncer has the ability to increase chances of downing enemies. Having access to jet boots which are the ones on your feet and dual wielding soaring blades firing photon blades, and being able to inflict boosted chances to stun enemies whether it's physical damage or elemental damage. And jet boots are also another weapon that can cast techniques. Waker is the recently new class similar to the summoner class in base PSO2, where you fight alongside your pets, which in NGS they're called familiars instead, synchronizing the attacks and coordinating alongside them. They're also dealing tech damage stat-wise. They also have the ability to help boost your healing as a subclass as well. But yeah, that's about it for the classes so far. Each of these classes has its own perks, but they work well together. Nothing is really meta in NGS, so that's a good thing. I do have skill tree guides in my channel, so I do recommend you check them out if you don't know what the skills do visually. But yeah. What class have you chosen to play? I'd love to hear your thoughts and why you're playing it in the comments. I hope this helped. I'd appreciate a like and a sub to the channel for more PSO2 content. And I do plan on streaming more here and there. Just don't know when. But it'll be one of those on and off things. And things have been pretty busy IRL. So I barely had the time to make some videos. Hopefully in the near future I'll have some time. But yeah. Have a good one. And I'll see you all in the next one.